finally here. The first phone to beat the iPhone. It surfs the web and downloads data twice as fast for half the price. Introducing the new iPhone 3G. Hey guys, what's up? I'm in a pretty good mood right now. Watching the Ravens versus the, um, versus, I don't remember. Ravens versus the Cowboys. Ravens versus the Dallas Cowboys. So, yeah, guys. It's half time right now, and I'm filming this. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is the iPower Rush review. It works with iPhone and iPod. It takes six AAA batteries. Now, first thing I want to go over. This does not recharge. This is not a battery, sorry, like the Richard Solo. This does not recharge. It's actually, aside from comparison, it's about the size of the Richard Solo. Okay, you can see that. It's about the size of the Richard Solo. A lot heavier. Basically, if you're going to use this, you're going to use rechargeable AAA batteries. You're going to use six rechargeable AAA batteries. The unit itself, it's cheaper than the Richard Solo because basically it doesn't have these extra features. The laser pointer or the flashlight. It doesn't have all these extra features, okay? But it still does its job very well. Okay? Now, one thing I did want to go over, let me grab my dock. This is what came with my iPhone 3G. This is what comes with every iPhone 3G. You can see it's a little bit different. In some cases it won't work with. Look at this. Can you? I know you can see that. Look at how much bigger that is. Let's line that up. You see how much fatter that is width wise? You see that, right? See, the problem I had was when I first got this, I used the OtterBox. This thing wouldn't fit in. Now the normal dock fits in. This one wouldn't. Now see this case I'm using, it's the Crustle. Um, you see how the bottom's completely open? This has no problem. Plug and play. It's on. It's charging. It's working. Okay. It has two locking tabs, and yeah, that's basically that. Um, the review on this Crustle coming up soon. Love this case, guys. It's affordable and it's awesome. Love it. That's coming up in a couple days. Over Christmas break, I'll do that. I have a lot of things coming up with Christmas break. So yeah, um, if you didn't already notice. I don't, this camera doesn't film in 16.9, okay? Sorry for milking away from the review a little bit, but, um, I'm just going to do a little update. This camera doesn't go in 16.9, it doesn't film. So, I have to stretch these videos to 16.9 to make them fill the YouTube widescreen. So, um, let me know what you think about that. If you think I shouldn't stretch them, I'll stop stretching them. But I was looking at them, and I don't think it really makes much of a difference. I mean, really. So, I'm going to continue to stretch them unless several people tell me to stop. So, yeah, let's get back to the review. Basically, this is it. It's pretty simple. It takes six AAA batteries. Your on switch is down here. If you plug it in when it's off, it won't do anything. It has to be so there's no red up there. And to see how much charge you have, you hold that. And three little LEDs come on. Three is full charge, one is none. But yeah, that's basically it. There's not much else to go over this. I mean, you can see the instructions. It basically just tells you about the battery. Don't do anything stupid. It's up to four extra hours of talk time, 120 hours of standby time, three hours of internet, 3.5 hours of video, and 14 hours of audio. Basically, that's it. iPowerRush.com.
link in the description go check them out when you're gonna do this though you're gonna wanna buy six rechargeable AAA batteries because you're not gonna wanna pay for the batteries this thing is gonna be sucking up it's gonna be sucking up a lot think about it um you're gonna go through like one of these cases oh how many are in here like there's ten in here you're gonna have less than two iPhone charge cycles okay think about that and how much is this two bucks three bucks and even one and a half bucks that still way adds up considering I can charge the Richard Solo up for whatever my power company costs me for the amount of energy it does to do. You know what I'm talking about. It's much more money unless you buy the rechargeable lithium batteries for here. Um, but yeah, overall, good product. I would definitely recommend it. It, a lot of people, they aren't willing to go out and spend a hundred bucks on a little battery. This can really help you. Okay. This can really help you because, um, you don't need a wall. If, let's say you're in a foreign country and you don't have a wall adapter, you can just go to their store and buy AAA batteries. Okay? This there's no way for me to charge it in that other country it's dead my iPhone's dead here you have a chance sure it has some drawbacks but it also has some really good things about it so yeah um I power rush you guys heard my thoughts on this um you heard what I had to say about this I would rate this probably seven out of ten stars okay because there are some drawbacks it doesn't have a battery inside it but um other than that solid product i really like it so yeah guys comment rate subscribe go check out my channel i'm trying to get some subscribers going so i can do some giveaways on here i have a couple um more thin cases i want to give away um i might give away one of these who knows um, yeah, I have some other cases. Uh, I might give away a couple leather cases, so, yeah, go check out my channel and comment down there, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace. Also, go check out those guys in the description under check out those dudes, because it'll be, like, down there, it'll say, like, check out and it'll have like two names or three names so yeah guys go check them out and peace